I'm going to begin this video here. These are just a suggestion and may or may not be for the actual beginning prepper. But I found this last weekend on Facebook Marketplace. You see all of this here? That's an Instant Pot. It's a six quart, I think. There's all those accessories, much of which has never been opened. I bought that for $25 for all of this. Um, I looked up some of the accessories between the Instant Pot and all these accessories. It was probably around $130 to $150 worth of stuff for $25. It was a young couple. I don't know if they got it as a gift or what, but um, supposedly they'd used it once or twice and they just needed it gone. So don't be afraid to look for items like this on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or what other online place that you know of that sells used stuff. Why I think I'm calling this a good prepper tool besides just for the purpose intended, even if the power goes down and you have a power outage, as long as you have a generator, guess what? The beans and things that I'm cooking in this that would take an hour and a half to two hours will pressure cook in this in a quarter of the time which means if you're going to use a generator, this is a very good way, much, much cheaper, much less power and energy that it's going to draw to cook some stuff. You can cook anything from dried beans to meats to chicken. You can put your stuff in there frozen, and then once it's pressured and it's cooked, you, you cut it off. You cut the generator off, and then you leave it in there cooking. Okay, and then this one... I still say if you can afford it, get you a dehydrator. This is another one of those. I found this on Craigslist. The guy said they bought it brand new, thought they would use it, and two years later they only took it out of the box. I paid $40 for that. I have since bought two more trays off of Amazon so, anyway, I got that for $40. Now, I'm going to shut this off and I'll go over some of the things that I'm doing with it. Oh, my favorite dehydrator by far. Now, I've got the the shelves out of it because I'm, I'm just now emptying it out. This is my favorite ever. Number one, it has a time setting, a temperature setting, all of it. It cuts off on its own. You set it. And you go. My only downside on this, there is no on off switch, none. You plug it in and it's on, and it's on until you unplug it. I don't really like that. However, I love the job that this is doing. And last but not least, and I tried to buy these, these are the half gallon mason jars. I tried to buy them back in 2020, or maybe it was even in 2021, whenever I first started learning about the dehydrating and everything. I could not find these anywhere. Well, I think it's by God's grace, whatever. These are almost $40 now in a lot of places for six of them. I don't know if it was an accident. They're $13.97 at Walmart.com. And I'm telling you this now because it literally has been two years since I was able to buy these at that price. And even as I, I bought four of them, there's two there, there's one over there, and I just ordered two more today. So, just throwing that out there. If you're going to get some jars, look now. Look today. Look on Walmart.com. They're the only ones that I saw that has it. And if you need some more half-gallon jars, consider that. My loopy loo kids. Alright, now, here's 
the next part of the video. You had just seen the dehydrator that I got. It was a blessing and the Instant Pot. This is what I am doing now. This is navy beans. Well, I'm hoping you can, yeah. This is navy beans. That's how they begin. These are navy beans cooked and then dehydrated. Um, I don't remember if that was two pounds or three pounds. Okay, here's pinto beans. This is how they are naturally and dry. And I had them kept in here. Here they are, cooked and dehydrated. Completely cook. Now they're fast beans. So this to that, that to this. Here's lima beans. Two pounds lima beans. Two pounds of lima beans cooked and dehydrated right here. They are ready to eat. And believe it or not, and here that goes to that. In a grid down situation, on any of these you should be able to add warm water, maybe even a little bit of hot water, cover it and let it set a minute and they will come completely back. These, believe it or not, I did start salting them as I'm cooking them in the pressure cooker. These were cooked in the pressure cooker because it was a lot quicker than the slow cooker. But if you can't afford a pressure cooker, get a slow cooker, crock pot. Just put them in, walk away, let them cook. You can even eat these as snacks if you wanted to. If you're in a grid down situation in an emergency, you can actually eat some of these as they are and still get the nutrients. Here's my instant rice. And you know what the rice started as? Rice is rice. I've already pre-bagged and put up all my other. This is fully cooked, cooked and dehydrated. I'm gonna keep filling jars up. Once they are filled up like that, I will come back and I will vacuum seal them or once this is 100% filled up, I will put oxygen absorbers in these. Okay, um, now, I don't know if I had shared this already, but I keep buying, every time I get, place an order with Sam's and even quite often with Walmart, I buy these canned chicken. So does almost everybody else. Um, invariably, almost every time I buy these, you may have the same situation, I get them here. They will be dented. The other day I got some, and not only were they dented, at least one of them had busted and been compromised. So, um, what I decided to do then, and if I didn't sit, uh, share that video, I will. I took 11 cans of chicken and I, they're already cooked and ready to eat. I dehydrated them. So this is what 11 cans, sorry, I keep looking back to make sure this has been, here is 11 cans of chicken dehydrated. It goes from this amount to this amount. Now why would anybody do this? Well number one you may need to work on your, your shelf space just a little bit, number one. Number two, if you have a bunch of compromised, possibly compromised cans, that is not going to last as long. So these are completely they were drained and dehydrated. I will vacuum seal these, especially once they're done. I meant to do a comparison for the purposes of this. Each 
let's see, at Walmart, each four pack of these are $9.98, this brand. $9.98 for a 12 and a half for four of those. So, and at Sam's, let's see, there was six. They were like $15.98 or something. I don't remember exactly how much. So, do the math. That's the equivalent of, let's see, nine ninety eight fifty. I don't know, um, between $25 and $27, something like that. Math is not my bit strong suit, which is odd because I used to be an accountant. Uh, they required you to do everything on a machine because they said never trust your brain on that. Okay, what I didn't do yet, this is one of those that I bought for my literal long-term storage. I bought it back in March. It was $54.99. I haven't even opened this. I kind of wanted to, but I'm too poor to open this simply to do a test to show y'all. So you may as well say this is $55 for that. And this is like $27. Forgive me if my math is off. Let's round it up even to $30. So $30 for this amount. That may be close to the $55 here. So you can decide. Do you need to pinch a penny and save a penny? and buy it this way and then maybe dehydrate this. The wonderful thing with dehydrating is how how lightweight they are, how easy they are to grab and go in a situation. So there you have it. And another thing I'm playing with, um, I dehydrated some of the Hillshire kielbasa sausage. I'm not gonna endorse this yet. I feel completely 100% safe in I will seal those up and store those. I will label them. I will date them. But I'm wanting to try other methods. Uh, this is that kielbasa sausage that normally you keep in your refrigerator or freezer. Um, so there we go. That's what we have. All of this is going to be considered instant or fast. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention about one of, in my opinion, as an old woman, one of the wonderful things about having a pressure cooker, one of those instant pot type things, if we really, or when, it is coming, y'all, you can believe or not, I, I have no control over what you believe and think. Um, if we get down to a situation where it truly is grid down, people have nothing to eat, if you're out barbecuing in your yard, in your backyard, because you are prepped, not only are animals for miles around going to smell what you're cooking, but so will your neighbors and your enemies and people that are starving that will, that will eliminate you for your food. I saw that as I was pressure cooking these things, not bad, they, were, they already can cook. There was very little smell at all. I could secretly have one of these uh, quiet generators and hook my pressure cooker up. I could cook my meal and that smell not attract some unsavory people, some people that will cause you harm. That's just my two cent. You do you, you do you. Um, veering off course just a smidge, but yet not really. We are in a situation right now, right here in America. We are so busy fighting with each other. I don't care if you're on the left or you're, you're on the right. I don't care if you're white or you're black. Or you're a part of this church or that church. Everyone is fighting. Everyone is fighting and not paying attention to what's happening in the world we're looking at everything that, okay, it's going to get a little bit rough, but we'll be okay. No, you need to back off and, number one, pray. Read the Bible. Read what it says in Matthew 24. Read what it says in Daniel. Read what it says in Revelation and see, are we talking 
really about this as a fight in America, or are we gearing up towards the last days, the tribulation? And if you can't see the difference, well, God bless you, I love you, continue on. Carry on, person, carry on. But we need to deci uh, decipher and discover who can we trust and what are we seeing. This is a global situation. This is not going to be a computer game once this goes down. In fact, I'm one of those that thinks America is going to pay a very high price. Not as high as poor old UKR. That's a whole nother story. But you keep defending your heroes or putting down this person or putting down that. Do you? Do you? I am starting to pray and ask for wisdom. I am starting to seek the Word of God even more and ask for wisdom. It's not what's happening. is not what you're thinking it is. This is not about politics. Although they're using politics, this is not about different religions, although they're using it. This is not about black and white, although they're using all of that. This is going towards a one, you know what, system, okay? There's certain words that people can't, if you ever see a channel and it's almost like they're talking in code, they have to because there's flags out there that are certain words or statements or letters or combined together, it gets flagged. So, you do you. What's happening in America is not what you think it is. We are under judgment. I'm sorry if you can't say that. Learn who is trustworthy. And the one you can really trust is the Bible and the Lord. Yes, I got it, girl. I love you. I got it. I'm going to end off with um, Matthew 6. And this is about how to pray. This is what Jesus said, and he was talking to his disciples. Let's see. But thou, when thou, um, they press, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret. And thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly water bottle. I have to. This is how I can draw my kids. Um, let's see, verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye even ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And in fact, re, um, forgiving others is one of the requirements. If you are not going to forgive those who wronged you, whether it be real or just in your mind they wronged you, um, you're less likely to have your, your request granted to be forgiven. So, I do hope that everybody's prepping, and I personally hope that you begin with your soul, but I have no control over that. My heart is breaking because some people that I care deeply about in this country are going to lose their life, and worse than that, they are going to go what I think the Bible is sincere and serious with, to eternal hell and the eternal lake of fire. And some of these people that I'm talking about, and I'm telling it, wow, it breaks my heart. They're in church every time the church doors are open. They're singing glory be to God, and it's like they're ready to fly up to heaven right now. But they're serving the wrong 
Jesus. They're, they have been deceived. And so many people that are fighting amongst themselves, I could be deceived. So I would like to ask for your prayers. As I pray for you, that you get your eyes opened, I also pray the same for myself. Lord, if I'm deceived, please, please open my eyes. Please show me what I need to see. Touch my heart spiritually. Open my eyes that I can see what you want me to see. Touch my ears and open them to where I can hear what you need me to hear. And open my mind to accept what I need to understand. A person that is deceived by just the sheer definition of it. You don't know you're deceived. You know what that would be? If you knew you were deceived, number one, you're an idiot. And number two, you're part of it then. It, you would. There's no way around any of this. You're either deceived on cer certain things or you're one of the lucky one or two percent or three percent, whatever it is, that actually understands what's happening. There's some things happening right now in this country that if you don't understand how vile things are here, 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 not not overseas, here. And I can't even say certain words to warn you because they will be flagged. You need to understand some of the things that are happening to children. You need to understand what's happening in different I'm hoping this isn't one of those words, but in certain rituals and things like that, you need to look. Step back from your beloved candidates or back from your beloved preachers that are saying all the right things that you want to hear and you will bust hell wide open. Back up from that. Ask God for discernment because not all that you're seeing and not all your heroes are heroes. And I'm talking from the top down to the bottom. And you will be shocked, and it may cost you everything. I love you. Trust no one really but the Lord and His Word. Find out who you can trust, though, now. And if somebody is going to go along with everything that you say and do, even if it goes against the Bible, that is not your friend. That is not your friend. Learn that now, please. Please, please, please. Get you some food. You do your method. If you can't afford any of this right now, that's fine. Buy food. Buy food. But start there. Love you guys. Take care.